what is the people so i've got a video here where abhi chavda makes the claim that uh, newton's uh, calculus uh, and even leibniz uh, who are people who are pioneers of calculus uh, they made their discovery of calculus and this they stole this knowledge from india and uh, that's the video we can react to right now and uh, i will before we begin right before we begin i will say that some of these claims have truth in them okay but uh, more details we'll see as we watch the video i have always wondered how newton and leibniz both derived equations of differential calculus at the same time a concept can be devised by a number of people but from history we get that only one at a time gets the equations right while they both contributed to the field of mathematics what does the situation mean that they both learned the equations from another source and made it their own listen it's ridiculous that two guys one in the island of england one on the island of england and one in germany came up with the same exact same discovery of differential calculus which nobody had ever done before in europe at, in the same year at the same time it's ridiculous what really happened is that calculus was discovered in in india okay it is known to have been discovered in india at least a century before these two individuals existed and most likely it dates back to way before that so the earliest known evidence of calculus of infinite series of differential calculus and so on comes from the kerala school of mathematics and we'll pause that so uh, the that's actually true partly true uh, the kerala school of mathematics does have the earliest known uh, evidence of um, infinite series but I'm not sure if it has uh, evidence of calculus, evidence of differential calculus. As far as I know, it doesn't. There is no evidence of differential calculus. There is evidence of the precursor to calculus, but there is no evidence of differential calculus from the school. It is possible that through trade, that information might have gone to Europe and might have helped Newton in some ways. there is some truth to that but there is no evidence of actual differential calculus from india it's most likely that newton came up this on his own probably so did leibniz uh, with the same information of the precursor to calculus so it's wrong to state that uh, calculus came from india which is what he says over here but let's go on a century more than a century before newton and leibniz claimed to have made this discovery and at the time we had these so called what are they called jesuit priests who were uh, going around india and uh, trying to acquire various forms of indian knowledge and wisdom so the jesuit priests are the scientists of the vatican this is partly true some information through trade through these priests may have gone from india to europe but without evidence it's wrong to conclude differential calculus came from india they are priests they are employed by the vatican but they go they go around the world trying to acquire scientific knowledge and they would bring it back to the west and then it would be used in, in a variety of forms so all of the for instance you have the kepler's law of planetary motions the three be honest with me doesn't this sound like propaganda kepler's three laws of planetary motion these three laws he was able to come up with these three laws based on an enormous amount of astronomical data true, true. that astronomical data came from india it was indian true. astronomical data that he examined and studied for a number of years and on that on the basis of that he was able to come up with the kepler's law, laws of planetary motion the three laws completely wrong uh, i'm not sure where he's getting this from now i will say that there were astronomers in india the kerala school of mathematics did do astronomy but there is no evidence that the this data from them is what uh, went to europe and led to kepler's laws what we do have evidence for is that kepler used the huge data collected by tycho brahe i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing that right that's a dutch name but there was an astronomer dutch astronomer known as tycho brahe uh, who observed with his naked eyes not even with telescopes he observed over years the positions of planets 
and based on all that after brahe's death kepler was able to formulate his laws the three laws of planetary motion the law of areas the law of distances and the law, law of elliptical orbits yeah when we do have evidence that that is where uh, the data is from and we don't have evidence that it's from india it's clearly wrong to state this <coughs> excuse me similarly these two guys newton and leibniz i'm not saying they were not good scientists newton was one of the greats and he said that if he has made any any great uh, progress in science it's because he stood on the shoulders of giants true true he has made this statement he has said this look at up standing on the shoulders of giants newton said that true. but he did not identify the giants on whose shoulders he stood so it's clear that all of this knowledge came from india india it's become Listen shoulders he stood so it's clear that all of this knowledge came from india it's becoming more and more clear with every passing year with more information coming out yeah how is it clear bro like just cuz he didn't identify the giants you made the leap that uh, those giants are indian giants i'm not saying they can't be but you don't have evidence to claim that right with all of this knowledge this indian scientific knowledge whether, whether it is algebra whether it's trigonometry whether it's calculus infinite series whatever all of that came out of india made its way first into the arabic world and sometimes straight into europe like in the case of uh, of calculus so that's what happened all of this all of these are indian inventions western science has progressed in leaps and bounds and today it's the most advanced uh, science and technology in the world it is all based on a foundation of indian science right from the oh my god man like i haven't i hadn't seen this video earlier but had i seen this man i would have made a reaction long back but uh, uh middle ages onwards that's when the europeans first came into contact with indian uh, scientific right. literature and that's what right. they absorbed incorporated into their um, their own uh, uh academic system i would say and improved upon that slowly yeah dude just uh, let me know doesn't this sound like propaganda india had all the knowledge uh, it's from india that all science has come out like man i know what else to say but uh, what he said here about uh, kepler's laws and about newtons newton it's partly true but he's made very huge logical leaps here but kepler he has absolutely no evidence to claim what he did i'll see you in the next one